Using a finished KDC is much like using any font on the lettering docker. Select it from the drop down list and type in your text. I'll create a new document. I'll type in some letters. I'll go to the filter by and click keyboard design collection, and then I'll pick the cross stitch font. Notice that the cross stitch font came in at 27 millimeters. Hatch and Brody fonts come in at a default size of 10 millimeters. KDCs can be intense. If this came in at 10 millimeters and we didn't resize it to a proper size, we would have teeny tiny stitches here. Notice like other fonts in Hatch 3, it has a recommended size range. This is a recommendation. It is not a restriction. You can make them smaller and you can make them larger. Notice that this one has a relatively small range. That's because I added this one and it's from a stitch file. And we work with stitch files, they have a recommended resize range of plus or minus 10%. Notice that we still have all these other tools. We can change the baseline, we can apply lettering art. We can even reshape. I'll remove the lettering art. So I can reshape this to move the letters closer together this way. Like other letters, we can break this apart. If I break this apart, parts here, just like other letters, and we'll take this last letter and break that apart one more time. Notice that it is a stitches only design. So while we could move stitches, we cannot reshape the object outline because it is just stitches and these have no object outlines. Some KDCs will be objects. Other KDCs may be a combination of objects and stitches. You can also use KDCs with the monogramming tools. So when we pick our letters, we have them available here. Just make sure when you're selecting a style that you don't select one that has letters that are too small for the letters. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to map designs to create your own KDC.